something you can something I also have some speaker wire which I thought or just like you know it's like radio shack type stuff it bends and the question is like well is that gonna you know that's better than a twist tie twist tie I don't think it's gonna work you need like four twist ties but if you bend it you put it on the and you stitch around it you know maybe to hold your nose the idea is that it closes that gap around your nose so not not so much air escapes not gonna be perfect unless you're a perfectionist and then maybe it will be Things starting to look pretty rough. Filter's not. Mask is too tight for me. Okay. It's too tight for me. But it's not really. It's not too bad. The uh, the left ear is too tight, so it's pulling this thing off to the side. Okay. Um, so you can see like the gaps are getting all whacked out. Let's see, put it over the top. If you can feel the... Well, I'm not going to speculate on where the air should go and all that. Alright, so the next mask... I'm going to keep this mask on while making the next mask, or at least for a portion of it, so I can get an idea of the breathability, because we got the vacuum, the vacuum bag filter in there now, and that's really good. So this is muslin. Um, it's tan color, you can get it white. It's, it's, it's natural. See how that's like, Stiff. So that is tight or is plain weave cotton. Okay. Um, muslin. This feels a little more. Honestly, it might have a tiny bit of stretch to it. Like it's got a tiny bit of spandex in it. I don't know. Uh, if you have hypo, if, if you have allergies, then, you know, you gotta know about that stuff. This is a, um, Alexander Henry Fabrics collection that I got a long time ago. Same. Okay. Uh, here's some more muslin. Right. Here's some darker blue scrub seal blue. It's really crispy and dry. That stuff's gonna be pretty good. There's no oh there's stretch there's a lot of stretch in this. So this might not be so good. Uh, we want to stay away from knits because knits capture, they, they stay wet longer. There's, according to searches I've done on the internet, they, uh, they are not as good of a choice, even though they do the t-shirt thing. It's like, okay, so. It goes like that, both directions. That way, 
even that way. This one had a lot of stretch in it. You know, you can... If it has stretch in it, it probably has elastic. Although that's not always the case. Um, so let's make some out of this. Eight. Ten, I'm sorry, ten by... That would be ten by ten, ten by eight, okay, so. I'm gonna make it out of two different colors so that I don't get confused on which side is which. You don't have to, you, you get the size you want. Okay. Fold up your fabric when you're done with it, right? Let's use You really want to be more accurate when you're cutting, right? Like this is not a very good cut. This is a cutting mat. I could just get my roller out. But since I got these monster scissors. Oh shit. I just cut two layers. Oh well. All right. The beginning of the video, I went over um, our various, uh, we also have a pattern here. I'm gonna make one more of these and then I'll make one out of this. Uh, Cause I gotta set up the serger. Supplies, cotton woven, tight knit, coffee, vacuum bags, coffee with elastic, sewing needle thread, filtration, one micron. The virus is smaller than one micron, so we should probably write that. Uh, less than one micron. Virus, but one micron particles of vacuum bag, HEPA vacuum bags, really good. Dish towel, two 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 layers of dish towel. That's gonna that's gonna be sizable on your face. Cotton weave. That's probably two X. If it's thin stuff like this. Um, and then normal, 60%. So, coffee filters unknown. My guess is it's somewhere around dish towel. Maybe, may, maybe lower, you know, but whatever. You could do your own research. You're gonna find the same links I found. Dish towels, really unbreathable. Vacuum bag is, is pretty unbreathable too. Uh, uh, the quality of the construction of your mask is going to also make it a better mask. Easy, this stuff's easy to breathe through obviously because it's All right, so here's our two layers. The idea is like this, right? You, 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 you accordion them.
And then you just, uh, you stitch top, bottom, and the sides. And then you add elastic. Right? If we put a, if we put a, vacuum bag you know how big does it need to be I mean if you're making the bass it should be the whole mask maybe it doesn't have to be the whole mask maybe it could just be you know that much because if we're gonna have to rip it out we're not gonna be able to sew it back in on the second run if you change the filter Um, we are folding the edges over though, so that's, okay, so this is the inside, that's the outside. The colorful part's the outside, this is the inside. Okay. So then... Pin it so that it doesn't get dislodged in there. Crease it. Put a pin in. The pins allow you to take a look at the whole thing once you're done pinning and just kind of decide whether it's gonna work. Um, this is for people who are gonna just make their own mask for themselves. It's not a, a high volume situation, right? So, so let's crease again. The edges need to be creased more or the same, not less. If you do them less, then it doesn't do it. And the middle just pops out anyway, so. Uh. I do them more that way. Okay. Okay, so that's the basic idea there. We're gonna fold this over and we're gonna stitch. We're gonna fold this over and stitch. If this is the bottom of the mask, we're really only gonna stitch, you know, a little bit. Maybe when we stitch the top, we could stitch in the wire. Maybe. You know. So if you fold it over, he just said mask in this song. This would solve, if we fold over and stitch, that, that might work good. Ow, ow, <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a needle on my floor somewhere. And I think I just kicked it.
Yeah. God, that was brutal. Ouch. So that would have sucked because I wouldn't have been able to find this needle anyway. So I'm gonna use another one. I got a bigger one here. Sorry if you can't hear me, I have my mask on. I really don't want to be hearing this music right now. I want to hear some dead mouse. Oh my god, I think my foot's bleeding. So, once you got you, the pins are really nice because it keeps everything in place. Um, you know, you can since this isn't gonna go all the way across, we could start it in the middle if we want. Uh, like. Well, that didn't go well. But it created a knot at the end, which is good. God, I hope my camera's clean. I got a screen over there showing me what, it, so I could see. Just gotta check it every now and then. Sorry, I don't have a multicam setup so that you could see me while I'm doing it. I tr there's no key, webcams are harder to find than masks. Yeah, I'm gonna tie this off. Actually. Go over once more, and then we'll use the rest of the thread to go out to the edge. We could, since this is speaker wire, we could stitch right through the center of it. That would allow us. Oh, that's really hard. I'm not gonna do that.
this, do a couple stitches in place.
Oh. Well, I didn't fold over the edge. So that's a problem because we're gonna have all this fraying going on. Oh. Problem averted. So I'm just kind of folding it over as I go here. The edge, you want it more, more cr crunched in and sewn crunched than less. Uh, more is better. Otherwise, somebody have to put a piece of tape to cover up holes, depending on what their face's shape is. Some people will have to use scotch tape to cover up holes if they're really trying to be, you know, clean, which is the whole purpose of the mask. I mean, we're not, we're using these filters because we, we're trying to make something that's better than just a ski mask, right? We're not just doing this for placebo. The 90% the 90 is really 90%. Or so we hope. Because we're a community and we gotta try to help each other out. Um, because the government ain't gonna do it. And I don't mean to diss the government, I'm not. The point is, is that they just, they just won't. Maybe it's not really possible for them to. I don't know. We learned in Katrina that they'll leave you hanging for like months. Even when you got footage on you broadcast in their face, they still won't react. And it will always be that way. It's something to do with the way government operates and the way that it's not like a personal, it's not personal. And it's not like they could just do. You gotta count on each other. It's always been that way. It's always gonna be that way. Government mirrors people. All right, anyways, I'm not gonna talk about government. This is a, obviously a Beatles cover done by a band called Mama Juke that I saw in New Orleans with my daughter. Oh, we have a few viewers. Cool. We have the filter in there. The... Um, vacuum bag filter. Take this filter. And cut the, the hole out. And you cut the top and bottom off. Says here, it'd be better to get a one that definitely says HEPA, but um, 
Beast masks. 99% of five micrometers. Okay, microns. The filtration that I researched is that one micron the vacuum bag is 95%. HEPA. This one doesn't say HEPA. So it's, we're kind of guessing. I mean, it's obviously like, it's better than a dish towel, but whether or not it's as good as the HEPA filter, if you buy a vacuum bag, try to find the one that says HEPA. Anyways, that's, I'm not too concerned because I think they're fairly close. It's got two, when you rip it open, it's got like two layers in there. Don't separate them, just cut it out and use the outside as the outside and use the inside as the inside, <laughs> if that makes sense. So your face goes in here. Um, breathability, vacuum bag is not, it's more difficult. Uh, surgical mask is easier and then pillowcase is the easiest. But pillowcase is down here in the 60%. It's bad, right? I think coffee filters is gonna be somewhere around 80, 70 to 80%. Right now I got vacuum bags, I got coffee filters. You know, you use what you can, but you don't wanna be, have to be forced to putting a double dish towel over your face, cause that's not gonna be fun. And that's why we're trying, and we don't wanna step all the way down to the 70% mark. So that's why we're trying to do the vacuum bag or the coffee filter as, you know, just doing the best we can here, right? Anyway. These are the bags. So we got that inside here. Anyways, back, back to square one. So this is the top of the mask. It's got the piece of wire, speaker wire this time. The last time I used a piece of metal, oh, a rigid piece of metal and I stitched around. It was really hard. You can see the yellow. Um, and it works pretty good, you know. it. Uh, but this this is gonna be pretty good too, you can see. And it's longer, so it'll be easier to make the fit. Anyway. over and we're gonna stitch on the elastic all the way okay all right let's do that just gonna go straight through out the other side, and we're not gonna come back. We're, we're, we're gonna wrap around. So we're gonna go straight through again. Same thing. Valley, 
And since I used a long, it's kind of like getting tangled. iPad has a better camera. Is this a pain in the butt? Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. But you kind of just go zen on it and don't think about it and just kind of like watching a TV show, right? Oh man, I have a cramp. This band is Canadian. This this is not good. Uh, this this need see it fanned it out. This one fans in. This one fans out is wrong. This needs to be stitched tighter so that these folds are accentuated at the ends. This is my bad. I mean, there is, they are folded there, so maybe we'll just give it a shot. So you guys got something to read there if you want. This last piece, the bottom, we're just gonna fold it over. This is gets removed. So, you know, when you change the filter. So, you don't really need to stitch it in real good because you can tear it out anyway, but Still do a double 
double stitch at the beginning. It means you just go through twice in the same spot. The tighter you do it there, and the more times you do it, the more it'll never come out. You don't have to tie a knot. Jake Bellows is the music. Omaha. Ow! 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 This is the bottom mask, so. Ow! So, this mask kind of looks legit. It's got, a, it's got a vacuum bag and it's got this tight thing on here. Um, when I take off this, it's like kind of ghetto, but whatever. I, I, I like it. Okay, well, I'm going to make sure I take these needles out before I put it on my face. so I can try to the top this is the top there's the nose so I'm gonna fold it fold it probably separate the middle one right um, put it around my ears fits actually pretty good um, no, no, it's too loose, that's for sure. But clamp the top down. See, it, it keeps its form. If it was tighter, this would pull. I also got big gaps on the sides here, which shows you like you really have to close that down. So, like, these are just things you have to learn. If, if, if the elastic was tighter, this top would be in, in good shape. The, all, the other thing I can do is if I were to go all the way around my neck, it would be super tight. But then the bottom would be, like, you don't want the mask to, to, to creep down on you. Um, and if you wrap it around your neck, it, it tends to want to creep down I learned that by a, uh, anyways. Uh, so, one thing we could do, it's a good looking mask, designer, right? That's one of our topics here, is fashion. I mean like, you're gonna be wearing this thing, might as well be cool. If you wanna, this is the hospital look. This is the, I don't know what look, I don't know what look that is. Anyway, um, so we wanna make these smaller. One thing we could do is just tie a knot. Of course that's gonna irritate your ear. So think about that. Um, we could put a little stitch of thread in there. Uh, let's just tie it. Something should change when a girl left. And now she's gone. 
kill him not going there. That's gonna suck. It's gonna hurt. She's gone. Whoa. Whoa. All you have to do stitch. This will prove that that stitch method works without doing any knots. Knots take a long time and they drive people crazy. You eventually get good at them and that's fine. But if you don't want to, you can just stitch through four times. And it doesn't, it doesn't break. Uh, that stitch broke because so now that I got that broke I can undo this knot I can bring this back up here and I can restitch it smaller I don't want to just cut all this off I want to pull it tight and then cut off That's a hack job. All right, well, anyway, it's a hack job. A hack job is a hack job. In the sewing world, people are like, you should do it this way, you should do it that way. I'm gonna assume you're not in the sewing world, I'm not in the sewing world. I am in the sewing world, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm not. So, because I'm in other worlds besides that. Right, so you cut that off. And voila. It is still not tight enough. Still not tight enough. It's got to be really tight. Plus, it's so wide. So, this is good for people with big faces, like it really gets a good wrap around, but with someone like me, a pretty pretty narrow face, pretty slim person, uh, it could be it could be a, an inch or in, maybe just an inch or an inch and a half more in. Right now we're doing um, eight by 10, eight, is tall by 10 wide we could do 8 by 8 um, you know for smaller bases and then this then we can use more elastic or the elastic could be more functional that way. Right now it's really hard to get a good fit because we're not using a whole lot of elastic. Plus I'm just not that great at this kind of stuff, but I'm good. That's why, I, that's why it's good to stream because not, nobody's really that great at it. Switch to the pink thread. Switch to the gray thread.
I'll stop at two hours because if I play it back at double speed and re recast it onto Instagram, they they allow a maximum of an hour. So that's why. Beast. Shit. Alright, so I guess we gotta cut this. Stitch it tighter. Man, it's gonna be super tight. It's really hard to stay relaxed while sewing. This is one of the reasons that I went into like focused on illustration more because I'm not that young and I'll tell ya it does a number on your neck and back to focus machines are, are worse they're not better working with machines um, This guy. See where we're at here. Fit. So the top clips down. Oh my god, this is too low. Um this fits great. Uh this I guess it could be tighter on the top. It could just be tighter all around. I mean, this thing, could, the tighter the better. If you t if you make it super tight, like this is popping out here. I don't know why. Let me uh, open that up. But you're trying to make it so it's not gaping. It's not gonna be perfect. Yeah, there's there's a lot of room for improvement. One of the interesting things about the vacuum bag is that it's quite stiff, so you can mold it to your face, and then you can learn where to add a few little stitches to make it nice and tight. You know, custom fit is what you want if you really want safety. One size fits all, it never really is a custom fit. It's, it's always gonna have issues unless the thing is like strapped onto the person's face. I got too much room down here. The mask is too tall in general for me. Uh, 
could could crease it more and wrap around my chin. Way down here. Could crease it more right here. Pinch it all the way so that it's nice and tight and I could add a stitch there. See, but that's that's just for my face. Like, that's not gonna work for somebody else's face. That's why a mask is... Part of getting good masks is like self-fitting, you know? Anyways. Let me see where I'm at here. So the speaker wire actually works pretty good. This thing was a major pain in the butt, and it's a piece of steel, really, and it's like, it's too, it's, the speaker wire is working pretty good. So, that's nice. That's just some random wire. I have more wire. You can't use 